Hole 2 is a beast and has you throwing from an elevated tee. This is a strategy hole for sure. You will want to position your drive down the fairway and as close to the last tree on the left as you can get. From there you really have to pick a target and try to hit. As there is a creek just left of you and the fairway is very narrow. Try to get to the right side on this throw as this will give you a clear approach to this basket that sits down in a ravine. Hole 6 is a lot like hole 4, just a little more open off the tee. It has you throwing straight back up the steep hill and to the right. This basket is just behind a power line base and is open. Hole 1 is open off the tee and most of the way to this pin. There are trees on your right, however, that keep you from throwing a low right to left shot. This basket is guarded by low hanging limbs. Hole 15 has you throwing over a small pond to a basket that is behind a couple of trees and is open. Hole 2 is a severe uphill shot that has a slight dogleg right at the end. Hole 9 is an extremely elevated tee that requires throwing over the trees, ending in a dogleg left. This is definitely one of my favorite holes on the course. Hole one is an open downhill tee shot to an open basket. Hole 15 is a straight tee shot to an open basket, but be aware, the lake is directly on your left. Hole 6 is another risky hole, as you are throwing with the deep canyon on your right. There are trees and bushes lining the fairway doing a decent job of blocking the right side danger. However, if you get a bad kick or turn something over to the right, you will be in that river for sure. As you can see, hole 14 is a tight tunnel shot off the tee. There are many trees to be avoided in this fairway and not a lot of choices here. You really want to stay as far right as you can or in the middle as this will give you a clear look at the pin. There is one other line that locals try sometimes. When you get to the first opening on the left in the fairway, they will try to skip something through there. This will give you a great look at the basket if done correctly. This basket is open but on a steep hill. Hole 1 has multiple routes you can take. It starts off with a low ceiling and trees everywhere, but there are open lines. This basket is guarded by several trees. Hole 15 is a grip it and rip it kind of hole. Just make sure to stay more to the right than the left as this will give you the best angle to the basket.
Hole two is another uphill open tee shot to a guarded basket in the trees. Hole nine is tight off the tee and has you throwing through a double mando too. Throw something that will stay straight for most of its flight right down this defined fairway. This basket is a little left of the tee and is open. Hole 14 is my favorite hole. It starts out as a downhill shot, but your approach will be right back uphill with several trees to be avoided. You really want to try and make it to the ditch on your drive, as this will make your approach much easier. On hole 15, you'll be throwing over water again. There are three main lines you can take here. However, if you have a good sidearm, the left to right route is the easier route. Also, be careful when approaching the basket, as the creek is close behind it. Hole one is a slight dog leg to the left. The fairway has trees on both sides and a deep creek on the right. If you can keep in the fairway, this open basket is easily approachable. Hole five is a wide open shot to a very unique elevated basket inside a metal pyramid. You have to climb a ladder to get your disc out of this eight foot tall basket Hole one is open off the tee. However, you must stay between the two trees that are about 150 feet in front of you. These are both mando trees. If you can get past them on your drive, the fairway opens up again big time. You'll be throwing to a basket that is set back into the woods and is well guarded. Hole 10 is an open uphill shot to a slightly left pin. You'll want to throw your longest disc here, but stay right of the woods on your left. This basket is guarded by a couple of trees.
Hole 5 has a tight line through the trees and over a deep canyon, and a right to left line around the trees. Most, to stay safe, are going to take the right to left line here. Once you are in the fairway, you'll be able to see the basket that is back in the trees and guard it. Hole 11 is another open tee shot to an open basket. 